Hello my gorgeous people, this is Grace here, Vicodonia, and welcome back to my channel in which I ride around the world incredibly slowly and get distracted incredibly frequently along the way. We are only five years into the trip, so just getting started. Now, as you may already know, I am currently in Thailand, which is a pretty chill place. But the roads still have plenty of surprises for you, and so vigilance is recommended. This particular morning, the skies were blue, the sun was shining, and I was riding along on my friend's CRF 450 RL, which is a delicious little bike. And I was heading down to my friend's place because I told her that I would take her bike in to get it registered. When it comes to chores like riding your motorcycle from A to B, I'm your girl. Anyway, look how well behaved I am. I am just riding slowly through the village streets, don't want to scare any of the grandmas, just taking things nice and easy. Now I'm just about to cruise past some slow traffic, but take a look at the pickup truck I'm approaching. I have plenty of room to go around, but Oh, look at that. I nearly just got impaled. And one more time in slow-mo. Oh, there we go. Now, in Australia, you would be required to put a highly visible flag on the end of that pointy impaling load. But in Thailand, people do what they do and you've got to look out for yourself. I nearly did not see that protruding piece of metal in time. But I did, and I soon forgot about it and carried on with my life and had a lovely day. Now, the next clip is far more horrific, even though in the end everybody did live happily ever after. Here I am, just cruising along a road, on my way back from a little road trip up to the northern border. And I'm having a lovely time. I'm on the little CB300 and I'm just swooping through these corners. But sooner or later you're going to come up behind slower traffic and it's a windy road. So of course I settle down to wait for a safe place to pass. It's another pickup truck carrying piping, but fortunately this time the piping is bright blue and I can actually see it. So I follow the pickup truck for a little while and I get a little bit closer so that I am ready to duck around the pickup as soon as I get just enough clear road. And then this bullshit happens. What the hell? Some people out there just trying to die. When those events started unfolding, it happened as if in slow motion for me. I thought, why is he braking? Why is he swerving? And then I saw the girls on the scooter and I saw their faces as they looked me dead in the eye and we just ducked slightly out of each other's way. Holy cow. My heart was absolutely in my mouth. I knew that I had cars to the right of me. I knew that if I swerved too far to the left, I would hit the back of the truck. I leaned my bike to the left and our bars just slipped past each other in that moment of terror. And there's not just one person on that scooter. There are three girls and a baby. I did manage to carry on that day, but I will admit that I was deeply shaken. If that had not turned out as well as it did, I, I have no words for that. But this is the story of the Thai road toll. So three girls, one baby, no helmets, no protective clothes, overtaking on the wrong side of the road, on a blind corner, coming up a hill. It's not a good idea, guys. Just wait. Just be patient. This is what I tell myself as well.